coming up roses. Megan dresses her bump in a Frida Kahlo-inspired crimson gown in Fiji teamed with an unusual gold serpent bracelet. The Duchess of Sussex dazzled in a vibrant red gown today as she arrived hand-in-hand -hand with Prince Harry at the University of the South Pacific in Fiji. Meghan looked glowing and relaxed in the 2110 Australian dollars, 1151 pounds, Frida Kahlo inspired wrap around dress by Parisian label fig as she greeted students and crowds of royal fans at the campus in Suva. Cut from crepe de chine, the floral design featured a summery V neckline, billowing sleeves and asymmetrical ruffle hem with pom poms and seashell detail, subtly drawing attention to her growing baby bump. Megan, 37, paired the gown with the 147 Australian dollars, 80 pounds, costanier canvas wedges pedras she wore on Sydney's Bondi Beach last week. Her hair was styled by her personal hairdresser George Northwood and pinned back with a spray of pretty frangipani flowers. The unusual serpent bracelet Megan wore on her left wrist is believed to be by Sean Lean, while the gold earrings she has matched it with are Karen Walker's Temptation Studs. The mother-to-be also carried a document folder styled as a clutch bag, made from Fijian Mossy, also known as Dapa, cloth and believed to be from the local trader. Harry, 34, took a leaf out of his wife's fashion playbook and shown in a light blue pattern t-shirt and black trousers, keeping his look distinctly tropical to celebrate the university's 50th anniversary. After stepping out of the car on Wednesday morning, the couple were greeted by pipe-playing musicians as they walked up the red carpet. Inside the university, the couple observed a cultural performance on the effects of climate change in the Pacific from the university's Oceania dance troupe, before meeting students studying subjects from agriculture to women's development. Megan's dress by Fig, pronounced Fig, is the brainchild of creative director Stephanie von Watzdorf who draws inspiration from her artistic and global heritage. According to the designer's website, Ems von Watzdorf was born on the outskirts of Paris and spent summers on the Mediterranean in Italy, lending her designs a distinctive look with ruffles and bell sleeves. The Frederica dress Meghan wore to the morning event was brought back by popular demand and is described as being covered up femininity at its best. This season we updated it to reflect the inspiration of the season, Frida Kahlo. The rap bodice is ultra-flattering and the flounced skirt might even inspire you to take up flamenco dancing, or go dancing at the least," the website explained. And while the dress is addition to the Duchess tour wardrobe, she appears to have taken a liking to her black canvas espadrilles, which promptly sold out within minutes of her wearing them. The comfortable shoes were Meghan's go-to footwear for a trip to Bondi Beach last Friday before she kicked them off in the sand to soak up the beachside atmosphere and talk to local surfers. After their second day of touring the island of Fiji on Wednesday, the couple parted ways for the remainder of the afternoon's itinerary. Harry traveled to Kolo I Suva Forest Park, and Meghan to the British High Commissioner's residence, before she headed to Suva Market. On Thursday, the pair will reunite and travel to the city of Nadi in western Fiji where they will attend a special event at Nadi Airport. After an official welcome ceremony, the Duke and Duchess will unveil a new statue commemorating Sergeant Delayasi Labalab. From Nadi Airport, the couple will take a chartered flight to Tonga for the next leg of their 16-day tour, which also includes Australia and New Zealand.